Today I'm going to talk about how to tell if your computer's got a USB 3 port and how to identify the USB 3 port on the computer. So why do we need to know whether we've got USB 2 or USB 3 ports? Well, the short answer is speed and power. The other day, I was backing up some photographs onto this little portable hard drive of mine and uh, I came back after about a half an hour and I found that it had only done 25% of the task. And when I checked, I'd inadvertently plugged the portable hard drive, which is USB 3 compatible, into a USB 2 port on my computer. And so that's why it was going so slow. So I pulled it, I cancelled it and pulled it out and put it in the correct port. Came back 15 minutes late and was done. So it was less than 15 minutes. So uh, it would have taken two hours if I'd left it in the USB 2 port. So that's about 10 times faster. Now my laptop is a perfect example of why it can be really difficult to decide which is your USB 3 port and which is your USB 2 ports. Um, if you have a look at the side here, I'll just pull this one out. You can see they're almost identical to look at from the outside. So that's why you need a bit of help to understand which one is which and how to identify them. Now before we go on and I show you the easiest way to tell uh, whether you've got a USB 3 port and where it is on your computer, I just want to go through a few technical things that might help you to understand it a bit better. And I've put them all in a table just to make it easier to follow. Unfortunately, USBs have undergone uh, a nomenclature change recently, and uh, that's left things a bit confusing because some of the old names and some of the new names uh, don't match up. Now, don't get too hung up on these technical things because the main thing to remember is that uh, if you've got a USB 3 port, no matter what version of USB 3 it is, it's going to be at least 10 times faster than a USB 2 port. So I've put the rest of this into a PowerPoint presentation just to make it a little bit more organized and easier to follow. And if you're interested in learning how to use PowerPoint, just watch the video on top of the screen at the moment. Right, I thought that was a bit of a catchy title there. But anyway, let's get on with it. Now here's the table I was telling you about that uh, discusses the, the nomenclature changes and also uh, gives you a bit of history of how much better off we are today than we were in the past. We started with USB 1 and uh, that was very very slow. 12 megabits per second which is tiny. Then we got to USB 2 which we jumped up to 480 megabits per second which is 40 times faster uh, than the fastest USB 1. So if you've got a computer with USB 1 ports in it, I think it's time to put it out to pasture and get yourself a new one uh, because uh, you're losing out. Now concerning the name changes, all USB 3 versions are now referred to as USB 3.2. doesn't matter if they were called 3.1 in the past or 3.0, they're now all 3.2. The versions of them are distinguished by uh, this postscript, which is Gen something X something. So what used to be USB 3.1 and 3.0 uh, is now called 3.2 generation 1 times 1. And uh, USB is also referred to as super speed SS. So that's something to bear in mind. So now if we get on to the new names, USB 3.2 generation 1 times 1 uh, is what was called 3.0 and 3.1. And that runs at 5,000 megabits per second. So that's 10 times faster than the best USB 2. Then the next one down is 3.2 generation 1 times 2 which is 10,000 megabits per second. So that's two times faster than the previous version. And then the latest generation is USB 3.2 generation two times two, which is running up to 20,000 megabits per second, which is extremely fast, but they're even getting faster now. There's, 
There's new generation stuff in the pipeline and perhaps I'll talk about that at the end. Now the important thing here that I wanted to point out is that USB 2s have four gold pin connectors uh, in, in the port. USB 3s have nine gold pin connectors in the ports and that'll give you a hint as to why they're so much faster because they've got uh, so many more highways for the information to travel along. So I hope that makes some sense to you. Right, so now we're going through what are your ways to uh, check and see if your computer has a USB 3 port and which port it is. So the first thing you can do is uh, just check the manual and see if that indicates where your USB 3 port is. And, and very often that'll be the case, uh, but sometimes you don't have the manual. So the next thing you can do is you can go into the computer's device manager and I'll show you how to do that in a minute and look and see if amongst your devices when you get to universal serial bus controllers USB that's what USB stands for um, if you see any threes there 3.0 3.0 then you know that this computer has a USB 3 port I'll just show you how to do that quickly just get out of there so what you do is you go to the bottom right of your screen here and you will find uh, the Windows icon. So if you right click that and then you go up until you find Device Manager, click on that. And there we are, that comes up. I'll just make it a bit bigger. And then right down, second to last on the device manager is Universal Serial Bus Controllers, USB controllers. So you double click that and that expands a drop down menu and there you see it, USB 3, USB 3. So that tells us that the computer's got one but it doesn't tell us where it is. So we've still got to find out where it is. So I'll just go back to the slideshow. So our next thing that we can do is to look on the port you you can check the logo sometimes there is a logo and very often there is and you'll see that is a USB 2 logo and remember I said that USB 3 was also known as super speed and that's what that SS stands for so this one is a USB 3 and this one is a USB 2 so that's pretty simple so now the next thing you can do is you can count the number of pins. Remember I told you that USB 3 has got nine pins and USB 2 has only got four pins. Now USB 3, uh, to get the nine pins in, what they've done is put them in two rows and staggered them. So if you look here, the front row has got one, two, three, four, five. Then in between those at the back, you've got one, two, three, four uh, gold pins. Uh, so that we know is a USB 3. The other thing about USB 3s is they very often this plastic block that holds the pins is very often colored blue. Sometimes there's other colors because of new generations of USB 3 but um, if you've got any color there other than black or white you can more or less assume it's a USB 3 and in this particular case it's written underneath so it's quite easy to see and remember the logo I showed you just now so you can guess it that's a USB 2 and if we count one two three four gold pins so that proves my point now how to you assign your USB 2 and USB 3 ports it's best to save your USB 3 ports because there's usually not so many of them uh, for data transfer where you need a lot of data and something like uh, backing up to an external hard drive or memory stick or using a webcam that takes quite a lot of data transfer so save your USB ports for that and then for your USB 2 ports you can use other things like your mouse, headphones, keyboards anything like that that doesn't need a lot of data transfer so they'll work perfectly fine on a USB 2 port Right, then other things you should bear in mind is it's not just straight your USB 2 or 3 port. The other factors involved. If your software or hardware of whatever device you're using is not USB 3 compatible, then you're not going to get that speed. So if I've got a, 
a portable hard drive that's only USB 2 capable and I plug it into a USB 3 port on my computer, it's not going to go any faster. It's going to still run at USB 2. So it always runs at the lowest uh, common denominator. Similarly, if you use a cable that is only USB 2, then that will determine the speed of transport. Another thing to bear in mind is that USB 3 ports and cables are backward compatible. So they will work on all the older versions of the USB. So that's good to know. But your speeds obviously will be determined by the lowest speed in the system. Now your cable connectors are identified in the same way as you, your ports because there'll be colors and the logos you might see on the cable. So that helps you there. But to complicate things, there, there's quite a lot of pirated stuff out there which claims to be USB 3, but it's not. So you've got to be sure that you trust your supplier. So I promised I'd say something about where we're up to now and where we're going. It seems like um, the new technology is going to use a different connector, which is this one, USB-C. And it's got 24 pins, so you can imagine that's giving it a hang of a lot more options for transferring data uh, at high rates uh, because of that number of pins. And it's being used in conjunction with uh, several USB versions. USB 4 has now arrived, and Thunderbolt is another technology which has been developing. And both of these are now reaching speeds of 40,000 megabits per second, which is staggering. And uh, it's only going to get better from here. So keep an eye out for the future. So if you found this useful, please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any questions or comments or any anecdotes about your ports on your computer, please let us know. If you just scroll right down to the bottom, you'll find the comment section there and leave us a message. Thank you very much for watching.